Today we got a lot of disasters, but we're gonna start out with some good news. Love y'all for all the likes and subscribers on the last video. Y'all absolutely killed it, but check this out. Coming in at our number 15 spot, Warner Bros. They came out and they ended up releasing this brand new gameplay trailer teaser-esque video where they're talking about join the playtest and they have linked a website where you can go ahead and actually join the playtest and this is called Harry Potter Quidditch. A lot of the they then saw that they ended up getting mad after seeing this situation. By the looks of it, this is not necessarily gonna be in Hogwarts Legacy. It's probably gonna be its own game, kind of like Fortnite-esque and it might actually be free to play but I definitely could be wrong with this one. And studs and chads, you might want to sit down for the story because this broke everybody EXC in the community. This man was caught with his pants down in 4K. Check this out. Warzone streamer Nitro appears to have been hit with one of the Ricochet anti-cheats new countermeasures while live on his stream. And essentially, he was playing this and this is what the anti-Ricochet cheating thing that Activision has is supposed to do because when you shoot and if you're cheating, the enemies would disappear on your screen and that's exactly what happened he also responded i made a dedicated video which i will link you in the comments below because man nadia swag they went crazy after this one but guys this upcoming story is exactly why i teach young men to not chase the pom pom and i made a second channel that is dedicated to that which i will show you in a bit but check this out marvel star jonathan majors has been dropped by his talent agency and pr firm following his arrest on domestic violence charges. Oh, I mean, damn, and this is that brother we're talking about. This is that homeboy that was uh, behind Kang, and Marvel signed this mofo for about, like, five, ten years, allegedly. And uh, shout out to the homie Ali for adding me in the situation. People are saying that Jonathan Major's career right now. Long story short, it is over. People are dropping Rip Kang in the chat. Marvel center all their films around this brother for, like, the next ten years. They are F. Dom responded by saying that society as a whole in the United States needs revamping the man isn't even proven guilty to be guilty at all yet these consequences are happening to him you can't even have your own beliefs in the u.s or you will lose credibility your job this is not man Sala, isn't he playing a bad guy <laughs> This is exactly why I made this brand new channel, brand new channel where I will try my absolute best to teach young men about the benefits of not just in the pom pom and why men deserve better. Because yeah, there are accusations and I believe that they should investigate the situation. Uh, there were like some text leak that happened as well, but it's text leak. There isn't any concrete evidence, but obviously in this day and age, if you're a man, you 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 are wrong. Like, let's just be real. So definitely subscribe to this channel, but guys, uh, another disaster. You ready? I'm ready, guys. Check this out. Ghost Rider. Tokyo on Xbox performs quantifiably worse oh, Ow, than the PS5 version analysis suggests. Series S is a bit of a Boom. miss. Pow. Oh! And to understand this situation, we have a video that I'm gonna roll for you, but man, this is absolutely crazy, right? We had bad news after bad news for the Sony ponies, and now we're getting bad news after bad news for the Xbox. And seriously, the Xbox are fighting, the Sony ponies are fighting, everybody's fighting with each other. And I gotta say this, in this situation, only the gamers are getting burnt down. But this time, admittedly, we have the Sony ponies that are getting cucked, we have the Xbox, they are admittedly getting cucked hard though, like 30 FPS after 30, <laughs> 30 FPS. Yeah y'all are getting finesse and the homies are on pc that always like pc supreme pc supreme y'all are also getting done dirty because how many times you have seen playstation 5 ports uh xbox ports over on the pc and even like cyberpunk in the past how many times you have seen the pc ports being messed up but admittedly this time it is looking bad for xbox right because we're talking about ghostwire tokyo this is that game that is made by xbox studio this game is not playstation however it was released early on playstation because they had those uh, contractual obligations some bull squash like that so they had to release it early on playstation and it was pretty good it ran beautifully although i'm not into the game but people that are into the game they said that it, it ran very very well and the homies over at digital foundry they did a ps5 versus xbox version roll it and they all have big performance issues and then the game uses um sub 4k resolutions with fsr1 and has input lag so that, that's like the basic setup and relative to that the xbox series x version is basically worse in most respects with respect Bruh. to the headline figure so the rt reflections are somewhat lower quality um, there are shadow alignment bugs with the RT shadows. The resolutions are pretty similar for the what? most part. But the quality mode has a moderately lower resolution than PlayStation Bruh. 5, it looks like. And performance is typically in the range of 5 to 10% lower than PlayStation 5 in the same scene. Um, 
And then on Series S, if you go over to Series S, <laughs> it only has two modes, <laughs> uh, performance and Yo, Bry's laughing! Bry's Bruh. laughing! Only neither have ray tracing, which is kind of the signature visual feature of that game. So you lose that entirely. And the performance mode runs sub 60. So in general, it runs worse than PlayStation 5. And Series S is sort of a bit of a mess. So it's a really weird situation. And yeah, just not really what you would expect from what is now a Microsoft first party development studio. Yo, Bry's laughing! Bruh. And guys, this story started trending like a mofo, and let me tell you, this is not true! This is not real! Check this out, wholesome! PewDiePie is now a father, Marzia and Felix shared the first photos of their baby on Instagram. So you can see, right, like, that's a baby looking looking kind of cute. I mean, not gonna lie, right? But I mean, damn, you look at Marzia, and a lot of the people in the comment section started believing that this is real. A lot of people started accusing Marzia. A lot of people started saying that Marzia, like, hey, yo, did you start doing Easter egg with another man out here? A lot of people started being confused in this situation. Me, when I spread misinformation on the internet, and you can see we have some dumbasses out here adding each other, like, thinking that it's real. People are adding their friends in the situation and they're trying to tell them that this situation is real. I mean, damn, bro. Like, I'm I'm out, bro. Like, this is a society we're living in. Like, god damn, bro. Guys, share this video with your friends. Also, if you want to lose more hope in humanity, guys, uh, check this out. The most expensive gun skin in CSGO just sold for around $400,000. Apparently, the sale also includes a carambit case, hardened blue gem knife worth approximately $100,000. The entire sale was roughly $500,000. Let me die, bro. Just, just kill me now at this point. This is the amount of hope I have left in humanity. Guys, to restore the hope in humanity, please let me know in the comments below and by smashing that like button if you're not gonna buy a couple of pixels for $400,000 in the game. I mean, damn, guys. Also, the Sony ponies and the Xbox went in gang gang. My guy says that no else, a PSVR 2 flop. If it's selling that well, why is PlayStation fanboy still begging for Xbox exclusives? What games? It's been pretty dry. It sounds like Xbox is a dying console. Ow. Oh! <laughs> because we're hearing that PS5 sales are up 369% in Europe. In Q1, Nintendo Switch uh, is down by 18%, while Series X uh, and S consoles are down by like 10% during that period. But however, Infinity War just cannot stop being lazy because they just brought back Warzone 1 skins to Warzone 2 with a new color lol. So you can see that's like Warzone 1. And if I'm not mistaken, they were selling that skin for $20. I, I could be wrong, but I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm not wrong. As men, we are always wrong, but you know what? Charlie Intel is also dropping the lols here. So I don't know about this one. And this is that premium dollar dollar build that Warzone 2 skin. Weapon max level is 68. This is Warzone 2. This is Warzone 1. Talk about being lazy as hell, guys. And recently the Call of Duty drama has been insane you look around the streets everybody's dropping deuces over at activision but check this out guys you might want to hide your vibes you might want to put your kids to beds because i mean damn modern warfare 2 number one best selling over on the steam counter strike however free to play couldn't even beat call of duty not saying that in a bad way but you know just to prove the point i mean it's over guys uh black cell however number three this is that $30 battle pass that people said they're not gonna buy obviously some of you said that you're not gonna buy some of you probably ended up buying and guys it's your money I I totally understand that if you feel like it's worth it go ahead and buy I'm not saying to not buy but I mean the situation is kind of hypocritical right because like we complain about it we constantly talk about it we're not gonna buy we're strong we're independent and then gamers in return these are the gamers guys these are the toxic gamers this is, I mean there's a reason why they want to label us as toxic gamers I'm saying gamers are not toxic I'm saying only lazy devs exist, but this kind of proves the point that yeah, gamers are kind of toxic. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, how can you complain about it and still buy? That is kind of crazy. Number three, and if you're someone that complained about it, I'm not talking about people that didn't complain. If you never complain about it and you bought it, then that's kind of different. But if you complain about it and you still went ahead and you bought it, my friend, my brother, look up mental hospital near you. You probably need it. But 
that, however, Sega is officially acquiring Angry Birds maker Rovio for $771 million. Okay, pretty nice. These are the Dead Island reviews, and I didn't give it a 7. I mean, yikes, bro. 7 point in, 6 .5, uh, 8 .5, and uh, the reviews are pretty decent. They are pretty good, right? Uh, Kate says I gave it 3.5. It's a lot of fun, but think the level design is a bit of a letdown as it's not really open world and doesn't take full advantage of LA as a setting. But in terms of the zombie murder, this is one of the best in recent memory. So that's like kid reviews. The total playtime of this game is about 20 hours and a lot of people are saying that the game is kind of fun, but it's not necessarily gonna hit you in the G spot. Obviously the game is coming out in a couple of days from now. So we'll uh, know if it's good or not guys. And also shout out to the homie Ali for adding me in the situation because we're hearing that Dead Island 2 won't allow base PS4 users to host co-op sessions at launch. Segregation guys, talk about segregation. It is over ladies and gentlemen. Let me know how many of you play on the Xbox One and the Sony Pony 4s in the comments below. But guys, this is a brand new game by the name of X Defined. This is like the Call of Duty alternative. Some people are calling it to be uh, that Call of Duty killer, but let's be real guys. You know for the fact that, it, that that's not true, right? If people are buying those $30 battle pass, that is right now more than half of the price of the actual game because they have reduced the game price over on Steam and it is 45 bucks. So $30 battle pass, $45 full game, it is over. If you're thinking that this is gonna be a Call of Duty killer, guys, that's realistically, that's not true. I hope, I wish it is, I hope I get proven wrong. That would be beautiful, right, if we have a Call of Duty killer. But let's be objective here. Let's hope that this is truly that Call of Duty alternative. I'm more excited for that, that finals game, but admittedly, this game is also looking good. This is also not looking that bad. Uh, this is being made by ex Call of Duty devs. They used to do helicopters with their release, <laughs> making that Call of Duty back in the days. I'm talking about the original Modern Warfare 2, the original Modern Warfare 3. Mark Rubin is behind this game, and admittedly, it is looking good, and a lot of people got good things to say, and guys, it doesn't have skill-based management. That's true! That's true! I made a dedicated video on this one. I will link you that in the comments below. Definitely check it out, because I believe that this game has potential, but only time will tell us. But real quick, I got brand new channels linked on my main channel page. This is Scary X. This is where we upload UFO and paranormal content. This is also my brand new channel where I talk about the benefits of not just in the pom pom and why men deserve better. Check these channels out, guys, and uh, hit the bell on them. But ladies and gentlemen, we had massive clownery happen with this story. Check this out. So I show speed joked that Aiden Ross will not stream with him because he bought his sister's only fans. My guy, I mean, I didn't even know he has a sister. Like, yeah, damn. All right, so, so check this out. Hey, do an eye tracker yeah. challenge. You should do another collab with Aiden Ross. Well, think about Aiden. Now, my friend, we did talk. Fallen Trixie donated $1.99 through Super Chat. <sighs> you speed what happened to your daughter, Diamond. But me and Aiden, we're not really cool right now. I bought his sister OnlyFans and he took it the wrong way. Bruh. A lot of people started attempting to give a damn, but sadly, guys, the processing fail. Unable to give a damn. Processing fail. Damn, not given. A homie started asking about what's her ad asking for a friend. But, guys, a lot of the actors and devs quit and they ended up revealing a brand new Call of Duty gameplay. Click on this video on the screen. On the left, we have another disaster. A lot of people got mad. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.